Now this week, our resident microbiologist, he's just putting his lab coat on now, uh, from Neutrog, Dr. Yui, uh, is going to chat about sick soil disease. Oh, glory, we do get that occasionally. We've had a couple of calls about it over the time. And rotating plants in your veggie garden. Oh, that's a bit controversial. Yui, good morning. Good morning, Graham. Yes, well, I haven't quite put my lab coat on. I'm actually sitting here in my dressing gown. But <laughs> Oh, jeez, you, you've broken the, oh, the vision. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> so, you know, I, I guess, you know, with the sick soil disease, particularly people that uh, grow roses, they, they probably know about that, so that uh, replant disease. So, in essence, what people see is if they replant the same plant in the same spot uh, that they put an old plant out, often the new plants don't do very well and they wither and die and if you put in a plant from a different family, the plant does well. So the question is, what causes this? And the answer is still a little bit unclear, but what we think happens is that over time, things like nematodes and undesirable microbes start to accumulate in the soil, and these can be specific for the plant they've just pulled out. So when you put in a new plant, the young plants really aren't strong enough to survive that onslaught of the pathogens, and so they end up dying. Well, Valerie Swain always talked about, all my life while she was alive, she used to talk about rose-sick soil. And that's the sort of thing. You keep planting roses in the same garden bed, and they just keep dying. Is there anything that can be done about uh, to overcome this issue? Well, surprisingly, there is. We did a trial a few years ago in the rose gardens at the Adelaide Botanic Gardens. Yeah. And what they normally used to do is they remove the old roses, and when they put new ones in, they would actually excavate the area and then they would remove the soil and get new soil in at great expense. And so what we did is we remediated the soil. So firstly, we planted a crop of white mustard, which we ploughed back into the ground before flowering. That's because when mustard breaks down, it releases a chemical that kills nematodes. Wow. And, yeah, and secondly, we then enriched the soil with organic matter and added some simungus. And using that remediation technique, the Bucantic Gardens have not had to have the expense of removing and importing new soil. Gee, now does this mean you don't need to uh, cycle your crops? You can just simply replant the same things for years on end? Well, changing your plants and your vegetable patch is still important, but it's not about depleting the nutrients. Many people think that that's what it's about. Because if that was the case, you could simply put those back with fertiliser. Right. It's actually about, yeah, so it's actually about allowing the pathogens to reduce in numbers. Without a suitable host, the numbers start to drop off. A bit like social isolation, I guess. Yep. So... However, you know, if you add lots of organic material and organic fertilizers, as you see, mungus or gigantic, then you can reduce that level of rotation. So I grow certain vegetables such as radishes, greens and beets, and I tend to plant them in the same spot for about a year, and that's really due to space restrictions. I don't really have the, the luxury to leave areas uh, fallow. Right. But between each planting, I dig in organic matter, see mungus, let it sit for a couple of weeks, and then I replant, adding some gigantic. So... The following year, I do then rotate the crops. So crop rotation is still important to reduce that pathogen load in the soil. But if you're using organic inputs, then it reduces your need to do so. So it allows you to use all your space all year round. Look, that is such good common sense, you know. It's the organics that really bring in the benefits, like sea mungus and gigantic. Now, as you've just heard, you still need to rotate your crops, uh, but using organic inputs into your fertiliser can uh, reduce all of this. You Maybe you haven't got the space. You're just limited. So using fertilisers like uh, sea mungus or gigantic from Neutrog is essential for your soil health and your natural balance in the garden. Sea Mungus and Gigantic are available from Bunnings, other hardware outlets, and, of course, all your good garden centres. Yui, that's great advice. Thanks for that, mate. No worries. You have a fantastic week. You too, pal. Keep isolating. Synthetic.